Hello there, and welcome to the ultimate compilation, where you will get the perfect mix of awesome LEGO creations, mind-blowing and futuristic tech, some interesting mathematical phenomena, and the RC world. So let's get right into it. You are watching Wonderlane, where we bring you the most fascinating and artistic endeavors of the LEGO world. Coming back to our topic, the first creation is a LEGO miniature set of the famous Hawaii Skyline Monorail. For those of you who don't know, Skyline is a light metro system located in the city of Honolulu, which is the capital of Hawaii. The Hawaii LEGO Users Group presents this set as mimicking the skyline in an exact manner. Well, if miniature models are your thing, this one is definitely for you. The details are immaculate with the ice cream trucks, buses, and roadside buildings. Next up, we have a very intriguing invention that tackles a very conspiratorial issue. It's not exactly an issue, but a question. Why are all beings so diverse and different? Some can swim and not walk, some can walk and not fly, and some can fly but not swim. Even humans who are considered the epitome of living creatures have some restraints, like flying. Anyways, this bio-inspired machine can crawl, walk, roll, and fly. This well-thought, well-designed, and well-engineered robot is the most adaptable machine. It can utilize the same limbs to perform a variety of tasks. Huge respect for the team of engineers behind it. With invention and innovation comes changes, like how carts and horses were replaced by taxis and then the taxi system by Uber and other similar platforms. And this man took it to another level by Ubering a private jet. You heard it right, a private jet. Basically, there is this app called Airbull, which lets you travel in private jets just like Uber, and the prices aren't significantly higher. Basically, the leftover seats whenever a private jet flies are lent this way at a lower price, and you get to enjoy the awesome experience of a private jet. A true win-win situation. This man just took Lego miniature sets to a whole another level. He built the landmarks of Paris like the Glass Pyramid, the Eiffel Tower, and many others, but he did so in front of each of these sites themselves. The thing about Paris in particular is that everything is very complicated. The intricate designs and architecture are beautiful, and the details you see there are rarely seen in other parts of the world. Even a simple shop will confuse you with its delicacy and design. So I'll say that LEGO did a great job in imitating the designs and architecture of Paris, and the dedication of this man to build the entire set in Paris, then dismount everything and bring it back home. Well, what can you say? The love for LEGOs never dies. Moving on, we have some awesome RC crafts. This man created a mini aircraft carrier on the model of the USS Gerald R. Ford. You can check out his channel to see the whole process. The link will be in the description. He launches the F-18 Super Hornet and other RC models. An overall awesome creation. Next up, we have three amazing dudes who decided to race the longest ice road. This road is 38 miles long, and you might have some idea, but if you don't let me tell you that traveling on ice is not easy. Normal rubber tires have no chance of functioning as the grip is almost absent. So this man decided to spend thousands of dollars on metal spiked tires for a hoverboard, a quad bike, and a dirt bike. Well, the hoverboard failed to move even one foot on the ice, but the other two did well for most of the journey. Well, now you know what to do in order to race on an ice road with your friends. Not that I would recommend it. Well, you guys know how fingerboard is a thing and hoverboard is a thing, but what about a finger hoverboard? Well, to my surprise, it is now a thing as well. Too many things, right? Don't worry. Just check this finger hoverboard out. This man is just too creative. The first idea is based on indoor skydiving using some powerful fans which is kind of cool in itself the second idea is what everyone thinks of right away when levitation is mentioned is magnets an awesome idea executed in an awesome way next up we have another lego technic train set but with a twist the track this time is infinite instead of using long hours and a huge amount of money to build a track that just goes on and on and never ends this man decided to use his mind this works kind of like an escalator with a belt of tracks driven by a motor that just just rotates and circulates creating an endless track. With Legos, the possibilities are endless, which makes them even more exciting. As I said, the possibilities are endless. So take a look at this Technic figure roller coaster made out of Legos. The best part of this ride is there is an arm swing ride, which lifts you up and you just revolve around it until you puke, after which it lets you down. It is a fun project to do yourself. Make sure to check it out yourself. Gaming setups are a big part of any gamer's life. Even just once, every boy dreams of having an awesome gaming setup, and videos like this are proof of that. Well, one of the vital components of a setup is the desk. This man just took it a little too seriously and decided to make a burning lava desk. Sounds cool, right? Well, it looks even cooler. The entire process is satisfying on its own, but here is the essence of it. He basically used programmable LED lights, epoxy, and tempered fire glass. While years of experience were poured into this desk, his mastery of his art is visible. With the advancement of tech, the film industry has also advanced. Have you
Have you ever wondered how the high-speed chase scenes are shot? Well, the answer is a camera car. Basically, these cars are fast and durable enough to keep up with supercars while a camera crane is mounted on top of them. These cars are loaded with camera tech and setups. Some of the fastest camera cars include the Porsche, which can drive at 160 kilometers per hour and is used to shoot commercials for Mercedes. Kind of ironic, don't you think? Something like a fast R35 GTR or a Ford GT Mustang can also be used after appropriate tuning. These are the beasts used to shoot commercials and movies like NFS. Even some supercars like Ferraris and Lamborghinis are also used. But have you seen the Bugatti commercial where a Bugatti Chiron did 0 to 442 seconds? Well, what do you think was used to shoot that commercial? While most of the shots were taken by a drone, some shots were also taken by another Bugatti. If you haven't noticed yet, airplanes are kind of big, so even their RC miniature versions are kind of long. But this man took it too far. He just made them longer and longer, until they just ceased being functional. As you increase the length, the working becomes a little goofy and wiggly, but still he managed to increase the length to 32 feet while keeping it intact and functional. So I guess now you know how long an RC airplane can be. The next creation is for all of you woodwork enthusiasts out there, because this is a wooden six-wheeled Rolls-Royce. Fatherly love is a powerful thing, as you can see. It can entice a father to go to the extremes of unleashing his inner craftsman to build such a beauty. From the wooden exterior to motors, wheels, delicate mechanisms, and everything else, this man did on his own. Huge respect for this guy. One can only imagine the planning and work that went into this project. Next up, for all the math lovers out there, although I doubt there are many, but here is a space filling curve, which is actually a very thin curve that fills a two-dimensional plane. Let's do a simple math class. A point is a zero-dimensional object, having no dimensions but only position. So by stacking or combining many points together, you get a line. This means that a line is what you would call a one-dimensional object. It has no width or height, only length. When you stack many of these lines, they acquire some width. So now it has both length and width. This is a two-dimensional object or a plane. Tell me that made sense to you. Also, comment down below if I left out anything in this concept. Now, a space-filling curve is a fractal, which means it is in between a 1D and a 2D object. Basically, as this fractal is filled with water, it makes a big curve, a U-shaped curve. When you look closely, each part is filled in a curve itself. So small curves make big curves, which make an even bigger curve. That is what you call a fractal. Basically, a 1D curve that can fill a 2D plane or a 3D space and form a pattern. This was just a beginner-level explanation, but if you want an in-depth explanation, do check out the video. All of the links will be mentioned in the description. Next up is the coolest robot you will ever see. We have always looked forward to the future without knowing what it holds for us. We have always been excited about the inventions of the future. And to be honest, we have achieved quite a lot. The knowledge, the data, and the amount of information that is at your disposal right now is insane. And what do you think about the common hardware right now? I mean, aren't they somewhat boring? What I mean to say is when we envisioned a future with intelligent robotic beings, did we imagine them enclosed in a plain old cylinder? Like what you get with Alexa or other such assistants? No, we imagined them in a cool mixture of retro and the future. So this man decided to take the matter into his own hands and build the coolest robot you will ever see. The goal is to make people believe that they are communicating with an intelligent being aware of itself and make them forget that they are talking to a boring and plain computer and the results are in front of you. Isn't this the coolest functional robot you have ever seen? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Next up, we have a cool mini tank made of Legos. It consists of a six round magazine with a hammer mechanism. Then obviously it has a belt and motors to make the track and some decorations to make it look a bit realistic. Now add a mini figure and the Lego mini tank is ready to unleash its fury on the front line. Next up, we have a toy for the big boys. You know how some millionaires and billionaires like to spend extravagant amounts of money on big boy toys? This supercar submarine is definitely one of those. This is called the Nemo 2, which is a modern two-person submarine. It is definitely not one of those big and ugly chunks of metal. Rather, it looks like a futuristic supercar. It is equipped with a sonar, which lets you see underwater using ultrasonic waves. It's equipped with basically everything you would need on an underwater adventure. Indian 841. The Indian 841, produced by the Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company during World War II, stands as an example of innovative adaptation in response to military needs. It was specifically designed to compete with the BMW R75 for a U.S. Army contract, which requested a motorcycle suitable for desert warfare. Indicative of the North African campaign to meet the demands of desert warfare, the Indian 841 featured several significant design changes from traditional motorcycles. Its most distinctive feature was the 90-degree Vi-Twin engine, which was 
turned sideways and placed longitudinally in the frame. This orientation, similar to Moto Guzzi designs, allowed for better cooling and simpler drive to the rear wheel. The 841 was equipped with shaft drive and A4 speed transmission, providing it with solid power delivery and reliable performance. Its foot shifter was moved to the left side, a significant departure from the right side shift on most American motorcycles of the era. The bike came with a low center of gravity and a large 18-inch wheelbase, offering better stability on loose sand and rough terrain. The heat of the desert also necessitated the use of girder forks with dual springs, offering superior shock absorption. However, despite its innovative design and adaptation to desert warfare, the Indian 841 did not see large-scale military use. The motorcycle came late into the war, and by that time, the army had shifted its interest towards small, lightweight vehicles such as the Jeep. Only around 1,000 units of the 841 were produced, but it remains a remarkable example of design adaptation for specific military use. The Indian 841 symbolizes a fascinating chapter in the history of military motorcycles, capturing the spirit of innovation in times of global turmoil. Bugatti La Voiture Noire, the pinnacle of automobile engineering and luxury. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire, rightly named the black car in French, stands at the zenith of automotive craftsmanship. Priced at an astronomical $18.68 million, it doesn't just surpass other luxury cars in price, it soars high above them. The La Voiture Noire was designed as a homage to the Lost Type 57 SC Atlantic from the 1930s. One of the most iconic Bugattis of all time, its seductively sleek design coated in a deep, glossy black paint job is more than just an aesthetic pleasure. The design principles incorporated into it serve to enhance the vehicle's aerodynamics, effortlessly marrying form with function. Under the hood, the Lavoie Tour Noir houses a formidable 8.0-liter, quad-turbocharged W16 engine capable of delivering a staggering 1,500 horsepower and 1600 newton meters of torque this beast can achieve 0 to 60 miles per hour in a lightning fast 2.4 seconds its top speed is electronically limited to 261 miles per hour but its real potential is believed to far exceed this the bugatti lavoir tour noir represents the pinnacle of automotive engineering luxury and exclusivity this singular masterpiece pays tribute to the brand's rich history while stretching the limits of what's possible in a car from its stunning design to its remarkable power the lavoir tour noir redefines the boundaries of opulence and speed. It is much more than just the world's most expensive car. It is a mobile celebration of automotive excellence, an ode to the joy of driving, and a monument to human ingenuity and ambition. The Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta is a rare and extraordinary masterpiece that showcases the Italian automaker's commitment to uncompromising craftsmanship and design. With a limited production run of only three units and a price tag rumored to be around $17 million, the Zonda HP Barchetta is a symbol of ultimate exclusivity. Under the hood, the Zonda HP Barchetta is powered by a mighty 7.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine developed by Mercedes-AMG, delivering an exhilarating 789 horsepower and 538 lb-ft of torque. With a weight of just 2756 pounds, the car's power-to-weight ratio is truly remarkable. The Zonda HP Barchetta's design exudes a unique blend of elegance and aggressiveness. Its carbon fiber bodywork features a striking blue carbon finish with contrasting exposed carbon fiber accents. The absence of a traditional windshield adds to the car's sleek appearance, while the large rear wing and prominent side air intakes enhance its aerodynamic performance. Beyond its stunning design and incredible performance, the Zonda HP Barchetta represents the culmination of Pagani's pursuit of automotive excellence. It stands as a testament to the brand's unwavering dedication to pushing boundaries, both in terms of aesthetics and engineering. With its rarity, performance, and breathtaking design, the Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta has rightfully earned its place among the most coveted and sought-after supercars in the world. Cannes Franc International Railway Station, located in the Pyrenees between Spain and France, is one of the most intriguing spectacles of rail history. Opened in 1928, it was an impressive construction project featuring a large, ornate station intended to serve as a luxurious international hub connecting Spain with France. However, the station's destination
destiny took a different turn, nestled amidst the vast Spanish mountains. The station's silent grand edifice is a stark reminder of its heyday, when it thrived with bustling passengers, bustling porters, and the melodious rhythm of steam engines. The station has long since ceased operation, the echoing halls now empty, the platforms deserted, the rails unused, and the station, along with the trains it once served, now stand abandoned. Various factors led to Can Frank Station's downfall. The mountainous terrain posed considerable challenges to its construction, and the onset of World War II and later the Spanish Civil War saw the station being used for clandestine operations. Over the years, it was neglected and fell into a state of disrepair, resulting in a significant part of the station being abandoned. Although the station building was refurbished and converted into a hotel, in recent years a number of antique train carriages still lie forgotten on the tracks. The sight of these abandoned trains, resting in an almost eerie stillness against the imposing backdrop of the Pyrenees, is a hauntingly beautiful sight. These trains, which once transported countless passengers across borders, now stand as silent testaments to a forgotten era of train travel. And with that, this video comes to an end. This world is full of wonders and fascinating inventions which we bring to you on this channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. The original creators of all of today's mind-blowing inventions are mentioned in the description. Make sure to check them out as well. Thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure. Until next time, keep building, keep dreaming, and let your imagination soar.